Rhubar was walking in his garden on a day that could only be described as perfect flying weather, an aviator's dream. Big jets scribbled new vapor trails all over a freshly squeegeed sky. He felt the wind in his fur. Ah! Oh, sorry. Oh, Rhubarb. You're so wonderfully clumsy when you're busy writing a play, darling, cooed Poodle Princess. He was still looking up. You know, Poodles, Rhubarb began. Oh, Rhubarb, I know what you're going to say, darling. Your new play is for me, she flooded, but Rhubarb had other things on his mind. Sitting in front of his computer in a flight of fancy, Rhubarb marveled over the pictures of his magnificent model airplane. His love of flying all started with a spike, two strap-on wings, and a garden swing. A long time ago. Waking from his daydream, Rhubarb's think waves began to flow once more. Then he turned to an equally important design job, the trophy when Custard arrived. Have you ever made a model aeroplane? Rhubarb asked, knowing the answer. What? muttered Custard. I'm planning a model aeroplane show. Aerobatics, loop the loop, that sort of stuff. Interested? Uh... There'd be a prize, Rhubarb added. What, you mean money? No, said Rhubarb. A beautiful trophy, which will really be a scrumptious golden sponge cake. I say, an air show. Count me in, squeaked Mouse with great enthusiasm. Custard, can I put you down as a yes? Rhubarb queried. Uh, what, aero bats and things, you say? Aerobatics, model aeroplanes, remote controlled. You won't have to do anything, said Rhubarb. And with that, Custard scuttled off and said he'd think about it. Now for Moggy Malone and Poodle Princess, said Rhubarb, and picked up his bone fur. Poodles, uh, no, no, you won't have to race an aeroplane, explained Rhubarb. No, Moggy will not have to drive an aeroplane. I just wanted to know if you two would present the trophy to the winner of my air show, said Rhubarb. And with that, Poodle Princess said she'd ask Moggy. <laughs> Finally, said Rhubarb. They've agreed to present the trophy, he sighed. Ugh, after all that waiting, whispered Mouse to himself. As Rhubarb's alarm clock barked four o'clock, model planes and their excited owners lined up at the end of the old strip of carpet that Rhubarb had put out as a runway. The atmosphere buzzed with aeroplane chatter like, George, Roger, over and out. Well done, said Rhubarb in a high altitude kind of way, as Rabbit's floppy looking aircraft volunteered into place. Ah, oh, Mo, love the headlight. Wizard, what? I say, rookie. Red? Ah, a proper kite, what? Charlie, good luck. <laughs> Ciao. Meanwhile, Custard was on the other side of the fence, doing a deal with some bother birds. He didn't know their names, only that their leader was called Feather. OK, you know exactly what to do, Custard whispered, as Feather climbed into his flying boots and zipped up his sinister flying jacket. Yeah, snorted Feather, who now resembled a foul-looking black aeroplane. And with that, Custard pulled back a loose plank in the fence, and the evil Feather hopped through. Oi, Feather! No hopping! Remember, you are an aeroplane, Custard whispered hoarsely, and Feather lined up with the other model planes. Ahem! Ahem, Drubob. Welcome to the Model Aeroplane Show. Points will be awarded for graceful flying, he announced, and the race got off with a bang. Everything okay? Smiled Rhubarb. Poodle Princess and Moggy Malone nodded a yes. Neither wanted to tell Rhubarb that they'd seen an aeroplane running.
finally, with the air show over and all planes safely on the ground, Rhubarb addressed the afternoon crowd and those magnificent model makers with their splendid flying machines. I have great delight to announce Custard as winner of the... Excuse me, said Rabbit. Custard's black aeroplane is eating the trophy. You there! You're not a bird. You're not supposed to be a plane. That's cheating, you sticker! shouted Rhubarb and presented Rabbit with what was left of the delicious trophy. And you forget flying, you're grounded! he went on. And where you are, you rot! And the birds cheered and flew around in circles, and everyone. Whiz! The home of ABCs, 1s, 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz. That's how easy it is.